If you have two power cables with the same cross-sectional area, but you installed them in different conditions, will they safely carry the same current? Of course not. The current carrying capacity or impacity changes dramatically depending on how and where you install your cables. Calculating the practical impacity depends on the rating factor or correcting factor which is essential for every safe electrical installation and ignoring the rating factor can cause overheating, insulation damage, and even fires, despite using the right cable size on paper. In this video, you will understand what is the rating factor, how it could affect your cable's impacity, and how to calculate the new impacity of cable. Consider subscribing to our channel to help more people reach to such videos. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Cable installation conditions directly affect heat dissipation. For example, a cable buried underground has less air circulation, so it retains more heat. Multiple cables grouped tightly together cannot release heat properly. High ambient temperatures, like running cables near machinery, mean cables start hotter. Because cables rely on their environment to cool down, each of these factors can reduce how much current they can carry safely. This is where the derating factor comes in. Derating factors are numbers less than 1 that adjust the cable's impacity for real conditions. They are calculated by multiplying several correction coefficients. Derating factor equal to K1 times K2 times K3 and so on until we reach to Kn where K1 is the correction factor of ambient temperature, K2 for grouping or bundling, K3 for installation method, and so on, for any other relevant conditions. At the end, you will calculate the new impacity of your cable by multiplying the default impacity value by the derating factor. For example, if you have a multi-core cable of 200 ampere impacity, and we are using it underground of 1.5 meter and have an ambient temperature of 45 degrees Celsius and it's beside other cables so if we use tables and for example all these factors together have a derating factor of 0.75 so the new safe impacity equal to 200 ampere times 0.75 which will equal to 150 amps. If you want me to create a new video about teaching how to use tables to calculate the rating factor, type in the comment section the rating factor. Now you know how to calculate the rating factors and ensure your cables carry current safely in real world conditions. Like this video if you found it helpful, share it with your fellow engineers and don't forget to subscribe to Electrical Engineering Planet for more practical tutorials. Drop your questions below or suggest a topic for our next videos. Thanks for watching.